Welcome back to CIS Podcast. I'm your host, Abby. I'm a freshman in the media department, and this is my first year on FRC, but I was on FTC for two years before moving up. Uh, my name is John. I'm a freshman, and I'm on the build team. Uh, this is my first year on CIS 4607, but I have two years experience uh, with FTC. Uh, I'm Greg. I'm a sophomore also from the build department. Uh, this is my first year on FRC, but I have two years experience on FTC. What made you choose build over other departments? Um, I guess for me, a lot of it was kind of being able to go from uh, kickoff video, watching game reveal, and then kind of being able to see that process of the robot kind of being designed and thought up to then being able to actually put that into physical reality and bring that to life. Uh, yeah, for me, I kind of just always liked building, so it's kind of natural for me. But like Greg said, it's kind of I just kind of wanted that feeling of like being a part of what's uh, what you can accomplish building the thing that you uh, put so much time into. Yeah, I chose media because it's like media is a big part of robotics and. I was going to do safety, but then I realized that it's not as much work as I wanted to put in. And so I, like, Callie asked me, do you want to join our department and get to learn more about it? And I was like, yeah, that'd be cool. And so I joined this and this is how I got here. Yeah, I think that's kind of true. I think a lot of people, from the outside anyway, when they look at robotics and stuff like that, they don't even think a media department would even exist. They see the robot driving around on the field and they don't really think... Yeah, they think of it as the build team and the, the programmers. Yeah, or they see a robot reveal video online and it's just there. They don't really think of the people behind it and that there's someone there filming that, editing it, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I don't think that people really see all the departments that there is to robotics. There's a lot more than there is in FTC. In FRC, there's a lot more. Yeah. So you have a more of a variety and stuff that you want to do. Yeah, for sure. Because, like, I know coming into FRC, it was like, wait, there's a marketing department. There's a business department. There's yeah. special teams that gave to chairmen and some of these other events that I know in FRC. It was more, like, focused on the robot, and those were kind of afterthoughts mm -hmm. where... In FRC, there's like full teams dedicated to these awards yeah. and projects. So, what are your guys' goals for this year in your department and on the team? Uh, one of our goals that we have is to finish uh, the super pit. Uh, we started uh, building it last year, but COVID kind of came in the way, and so uh, we're pretty we're pretty close on that, and that's pretty much our biggest goal right now. Yeah, for sure. Um, definitely getting that pit finished. I know the two, there are two seniors on build right now, Eric and Jason, have been putting a lot of time into that, trying to get that finished up, because they started that last year, and like you said, basically COVID came, and entire season basically just stopped. There was nothing, just kind of ended all of a, very suddenly, and they never really got a chance to finish or even kind of get to a good stopping point on that, so they... Yeah. They've been working hard on that to get that done this year. Yeah, one of media's goals is to try to get the display case done to make it like look cool because we want to put LED lights up and make it look cool so that people want to join and just make this team bigger because COVID kind of ruined our team. It took a lot of people out. so. Yeah, for sure. Definitely get some more uh, fresh, I don't want to say fresh blood, but some, I guess, fresh members fresh members in because I know like uh, you John you're one of three freshmen and I'm I think the only sophomore on build right now yeah so by and I don't think there's any juniors correct me if I'm wrong but so it's coming next year unless um, we get more freshmen or more sophomores juniors seniors to join next year it's basically going to be uh it's gonna me be a struggle, and the yeah. Three fr you, yeah, you three freshmen. It's gonna mm -hmm. be four people on all of build. So. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of new leads next year because all of the seniors are leaving. So, that's gonna be tough. You guys were on FTC before moving up to FRC. How is it different, and how is it similar? Um, I guess it's definitely a lot different, but there are definitely similarities. Um. 
I guess some of the similarities is obviously you're still building a robot and still part of a team and you're all kind of one group, but I guess some differences are uh, FRC, you're kind of more subdivided into groups, at least my FTC team, it always seemed like we were always kind of constantly talking amongst each other about our different things, where FRC, it's more specialized and you kind of get more done, and then we have our LGM large group meetings on Wednesdays, where we kind of then do get together and still um, kind of talk about what we've done over the week and get together to uh, spread what we've done. Yeah, uh, uh, for sure FRC is different from FTC. Uh, it's more responsible. You need, uh, that's why uh, freshmen and uh, weren't allowed on the team until COVID hit. It's because you need to be, you know, responsible and you need to be part of a team. Uh, FTC is kind of joined for fun and you, uh, it, you learned a little bit, but, you know, it's definitely a big, you notice a bigger difference when you join FRC about the teamwork that you need to put in. Yeah, FRC is definitely meant for fun too, but you got to be more serious and more professional. How is this season different for the build department than previous seasons? Uh, it's definitely it's definitely harder to get things done. It takes a lot longer for things to be done uh, because. Uh, COVID restrictions doesn't allow you to uh, have many a lot of people in one room and so when you're trying to get something done on the robot or the pit uh, you can only do it in like groups of three in close pro uh, proximity and so uh, like those people do one thing and then they have to leave while other people do another thing it definitely takes a lot longer. Yeah for sure and I mean kind of uh, again, one way it's kind of affected the build team, and I think positively this year is we have gotten more freshmen on, because you guys have done a great job so far. Um, I mean, yeah, because most years it's only sophomores and up, but mm -hmm. I'm, I'm really glad that we got you guys on, because otherwise it would be me and two seniors, and well, yeah, it would be a real struggle then to get stuff done. We just wouldn't have the manpower. Yeah, especially for next year. Um... What are some challenges that you guys have experienced this year regarding COVID or new machines we've gotten? Um, I guess again for COVID it's kind of been um, a struggle kind of being distanced while working on because a lot of the times we'll be working on one maybe two projects at a time and when there are quite a few of us which we do need to get that stuff done uh, manpower and man hours wise um, it's difficult to s distance well enough to meet those guidelines and new machine wise we uh, recently got a CNC I don't know John if you want to touch more on that yeah and uh, like uh, like uh, Greg was talking about how COVID uh, affected it uh, we got a new CNC machine so we needed to uh, build a table to hold it and uh, that was really hard because uh, we weren't able to all just work on it and uh, get it done, and so it ended up uh, ended up taking us a lot longer than uh, it usually would have for us to do something. And uh, it was kind of just a fight all the way to the end until we were able to uh, finish that table and uh, finally put it behind us. Yeah, for sure. Um, definitely, that table took quite a bit longer than it should have, and. Like, but because it's basically a couple four by fours and some uh, OSB sh boards on top of that, probably took yeah. us a couple weeks just yeah, three, getting three enough weeks. people cutting cutting those uh, four by fours into the correct size and even finding materials for stuff like that. I know our uh, m our main coach, uh, Mr. Yurik, he was struggling to find those boards uh, flat enough from Home Depot and other suppliers for our salvage boards and stuff on our router. So definitely finding materials for build has somewhat also been a challenge. Yeah. How does the build department or robotics in general apply to what you want to do in the future? Uh, I want to be a mechanical engineer, so this kind of just helps develop uh, what I am basically gonna be doing uh, for a job. And it uh, kind of gives me a little insight to uh, what things will be when I grow up, and uh, it kind of just helps me start to uh, develop those uh, things I'll need. 
Yeah, I also am looking to go into the mechanical engineering field, and uh, definitely having the hands-on experience is a big part, being part of build versus something like CAD, where CAD you are designing it, but being able to physically build it and kind of see how things work in practice versus theory, that's a yeah. big part that a lot of people, I think, don't quite get access to and if they don't do uh, any programs like FIRST and robotics. Thank you for listening to CIS 4607 Podcast, and thank you to our sponsors.